Hi everyone, it's John and welcome to another edition of Cozy, Charming, Crazy Real Estate where we talk about everything real estate. And today we're going to talk about selling a home during the last three months of the calendar year. Now October, November, December are typically slow home sale months. There are fewer properties coming on the market and there are fewer buyers looking for a property to buy and move into. So uh, there are opportunities, there are challenges. However, if we find ourselves as a homeowner who needs or wants to sell during this time, uh, maybe we are an investor and we own a rental property that we want off our books by the end of the year. We don't want to have to deal with it in the new uh, calendar slash tax year. Or maybe we are the uh, executor of an estate or the trustee of a trust that owns a property that perhaps is vacant, is generating expenses without generating income, and we need to get it off our books. Uh, if we are in any of those circumstances, we don't really uh, need to be afraid of selling in the uh, fourth quarter because lots of properties sell uh, during that time period every year. And even though there are challenges, there are opportunities. So today we're going to talk about five of those opportunities and uh, I'll give you some tips on how you can uh, uh, overcome those challenges and take advantage of the opportunity. So let's get started. First opportunity is limited competition. If there are fewer homes coming on the market, that means you have fewer homes to compete with if you are a seller. So as long as you have a good marketing program, you market as usual or better, and uh, get the word out about your home, it's a good time to sell without a lot of competition. Just make sure the home is prepared, that the marketing is uh, effective and directed towards your target market. And uh, again, don't be afraid uh, to sell just because no one else is selling. There are buyers out there. Opportunity number two, I call them vacation lookers. There are buyers out there who are going to travel back to their hometown or they're going to go visit family and friends. They're going to be in town where you are and uh, they might be considering moving back home because they've mo moved out of state. Now they're ready to move back. Uh, maybe they want to be closer to relatives or friends. Uh, but these are people who are in town maybe just a week, maybe two weeks. And we need to be very flexible in our showing schedule for people like that because, again, they're only here for a short time. So we need to look at how we market our home and take advantage of the fact that there are people coming into town. Look at it and make sure that we have flexibility for showings. So I call them, again, vacation lookers. Don't forget them in your marketing. Number three. Take advantage of the green. If you're anywhere in California, especially Northern California, uh, like where I am, uh, as we drive around, we'll see that all the vineyards now uh, the, are going bare. Uh, but at the same time, as the vineyards maybe don't look as pretty as they did in June, July, August, when they were fluffy with a lot of leaves uh, on the vines, uh, the hillsides in this area uh, turn green in the winter. During the summer, uh, the hot sun dries out all the grass on all the hillsides, and, and where I am, I can look out, and I see a lot of hillsides uh, that actually become quite pretty during the fall and winter, a nice lush green. And so when I'm doing photography and doing marketing for a property, especially a property with a view, we want to make sure that we capture uh, that lush environment uh, during the winter and take advantage of it uh, the best we can. Now, if you do have a, uh, a view from your uh, property, you want to make sure to include a photo op or photo opportunity in your showing uh, procedures. And uh, I'm going to include a link below where I have a uh, an article about uh, how to do that successfully so that people can have a photograph 
of themselves at the property, seeing this wonderful view, and it reminds them of uh, why they want to uh, contact their agent and put in an offer as soon as possible. So anyway, take advantage of the beautiful scenery that comes with fall and winter in California or wherever you might be viewing. Number four. You want to take advantage of the fact that many investors are out there and need to close a deal. Now, there's usually two types that are definitely looking to make a deal in the fourth quarter. And those are the uh, buyers who have already sold or, or soon will sell a property involved in a 1031 exchange. This is especially applicable if you are selling a rental property. Uh, investors need to get that uh, second part. They have their sale going. Now they need a replacement property and yours could be it. So stay, uh, stay tuned to that. Also, there are some investors that have uh, money that they just need to park uh, before the end of the calendar year. They don't want it on their books. They would rather have a piece of property on their books rather than that cash at the end of the year so they are motivated to try to buy a property by the, and close escrow by the end of the year if uh, as long as you can support that uh, uh, let uh, potential buyers know uh, that you can uh, close quickly and be prepared for it uh, don't don't uh, say, well, I, I need 45 days, I need 60 days because I have to do all this other stuff. Get all that stu other stuff out of the way so that you can close in as short a period as possible. It's a marketing uh, advantage for your property. Number five, there are buyers out there who are your typical buyer. They're not investors. They're uh, not looking for deals. They're just looking for a nice home. And uh, so you don't need to really tailor as much of your marketing to them. Just use the same kind of marketing approach that you would normally use during a more active season. Just make sure that uh, uh, you understand each individual buyer's needs and how you can satisfy them with your property and with the time frame and the process that you use to close escrow. So in summary, you're going to find during the last three uh, months of the year, there are challenges, but there are also opportunities for uh, selling during this time frame. Uh, if you have any questions, I hope you will leave them below. Also, any suggestions for anybody uh, who might be viewing this video, additional things that you can do to make it easier to sell uh, late in the year. And of course, if you like this video, I hope you hit like. Um, if you're interested in this uh, kind of information, please also hit subscribe. And if you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, as always, uh, leave a comment below and we will review those as they come in and maybe include uh, your idea in a future video. Until next time, take care.